Hello, and welcome to Some Assembly Required, brought to you by Engineering.com. I'm your host, Torben Ruddock. So last week we promised to show you the secrets behind some of the animations that we use in this show. Well this week we're going to go one step better. We're actually going to show you how you can fit virtually any 3D CAD model onto your iPad. One of the cool things about Some Assembly Required is that you can actually build the projects that we work on in this program. We give you 3D interactive instruction sets to make that easy. Well, let's turn that idea around. Maybe you have a 3D model that you want to share with others. Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to publish your 3D model to an iPad, an iPhone, or even your Android device. The tool we use is Publisher from Autodesk. It makes slick animations like this based on your 3D digital model. Here, I have my 3D model of the bird feeder open on my desktop. In this example, we use an Autodesk Inventor file, but it could be a file from SolidWorks, ProE, or almost any other program. Now I'm going to open Autodesk Publisher and import my 3D model into it. So I will click on the title bar here to start a new document. See that it prompts me to upload a file? Now I'm going to navigate through my folders to find the bird feeder file. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Brilliantly mislabeled as birdhouse. You can see that I'm prompted here to identify the file type to import to Publisher. It supports virtually all major CAD types. Let's pick birdhouse 004 and open that. In a few seconds, we'll see the bird feeder model opening in Publisher. It will look a lot like it did as a 3D CAD model in Inventor. Now that the model is in Publisher, I'm going to publish it to a mobile device. It's actually pretty slick how fast this works. I'm going to choose the Publish button from the upper left corner and choose Publish to Mobile. I'll choose to share it and put in a little description so that if people see an emailed link, they'll know what it's about. Then I hit OK. I select the folder to publish to and then Publisher pushes it to the server. I get this URL back that I can send to iPad, iPhone, or Android device users. So now that I have this link, I can just click on it, and it's going to open it up in the Publisher window. Well, that's it. Pretty simple. There's a whole lot more you can do with Publisher, like making full instruction sets. But we're going to leave that to a later video. If you like this video, give us a like on Facebook or YouTube. And thanks a lot for all your comments. Keep them coming. I've also been trying a whole lot of different ways on how to get the hovercraft to move under its own power. And now that we've done it, I'm going to show you how to next episode.